So now I'm going to just introduce some few uh, objects um, that we need for uh, uh, configuring NSX. Uh, the first one is a transport zone, and I, I, it's difficult to 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 introduce this because it's a kind of chicken and egg problem. You don't basically the meaning of the transport zone is only apparent once you've configured it. So I'm, I'm just going to start. Uh, by telling you this is a grouping object. Don't, don't try to understand what it is at that stage. It is a grouping concept. I, I can group stuff with uh, a transport zone. Inside my transport zone, I have two types of transport zone. I have an overlay transport zone and a VLAN transport zone. Inside my transport zone, I can create other objects called segments. Of course, if I create a segment in a VLAN transport zone, it's a VLAN segment, and if I create a segment in an overlay transport zone, by inheritance, it becomes an overlay segment. The segments are, in NSX, a virtual layer two domain. It's not really exactly equivalent to a DB port group or a port group, but it's pretty close. So this represents as if you were, I mean, for example, your, your VLAN segment, if you were used to Cisco, I'm an old guy, I used to work on, in Cisco on VLAN and VTP, stuff like that. It's as if you were creating in VTP a VLAN and giving it a name. And um, the overlay segment is equivalent, but overlay backed instead of being VLAN backed. So once you've created those objects, you will use them when you prepare, when you install NSX on your host. So when you create, a, when you install, when you create a host, a transport node as we call it, a, a host running NSX, you have to attach it to at least one transport zone. And uh, basically, the transport node you attach your node to will dictate the kind of uh, segment it can reach, it, it can be attached to. Uh, well, at least the VM that are running on this host can be attached to. So let me give you a simple example. Example, sorry. Uh, I have my ESXi transport node one. It is attached to the VLAN transport zone. It, it now run NSX, I have an MVS. When you do that, if you go to vCenter and, and you look at the networking tab, you will, see, you will see segment one as an available segment uh, in your UI. And it means that you can now attach a virtual machine to this VLAN segment one. On the other hand, if you are going to transport node two, which is attached to both the VLAN transport zone and the overlay uh, transport zone, when you look into the networking tab in vCenter, you will see two segments, the segment that is in the VLAN transport zone and the segment that is in the overlay transport zone. So basically, now that you see what it means to be attached to a transport zone, you can maybe, hopefully, understand the meaning of the transport zone itself. What the transport zone represents is, in fact, the scope of your virtual network. Ba basically, um, it, it represents a group of hosts that, uh, that are uh, capable of uh, consuming the segments that are part of the transport zone. Is that clear? This is, 